Hi everybody, EB here and welcome to today's video. Today's video I'm going to show you how to turn any PC into a huge family media gaming powerhouse. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? And most things in life, if they sound too good to be true, eh, they probably are. However, this is factually correct. <clears throat> this is not too good to be true. If you have an older PC sitting at home that's got windows on it that runs like a dog and you can't do anything with it, you get frustrated with it, you want to turn it into a powerhouse of a family PC. If you follow the instructions I'm going to give you, you will succeed. The first thing you need to do is download... <coughs> any Linux of your choice. Don't worry, this isn't going to be a I preach Linux video to you. Just download any Linux of your choice. I've got Zorin OS 17.1 here. I am an MX Linux fanboy, but you can download and use any Linux that you want. Linux Mint, great choice. Ubuntu, great choice. Any Linux that you want to download. OK, maybe you've had a recommendation off a friend. Maybe you've been on to distrowatch.com and checked out the Linuxes there. Maybe you've been on YouTube and seen a video about the latest all singing, all dancing Linux and how it's going to transform the world. Yeah, no, it's not. But nevertheless, your starting point is to download any Linux. Now, just before we go any further, my personal recommendation for the minimum specs that your PC should have. Well, <clears throat> um, let's have a look at what I'm using here. I am using an Intel Core 2 Duo E8400 dual core processor. If your computer at home or the one you've bought off of eBay for 20 quid is only a single core or it's a dual core, use it. It'll work just fine. But obviously, the poorer the specification of the hardware, the slower the whole experience is going to be. But you'll nevertheless be able to have that experience. I'm also packing 4 gigabytes of DDR RAM. Don't worry if your computer only has 2 gigabytes. 2 gigabytes is enough. But again, you'll just be a little bit more limited as to your experience. I would recommend a minimum of a dual core processor of four gigabytes of RAM. If you only have a single core processor and two gigabytes of RAM, fine, do it, it will still work. So what's the next thing you need to do? Once you've downloaded the Linux ISO of your choice, you need to make thoroughly sure that you've backed up all the files and all the settings that you want to keep on that computer. That is for you to take ownership of and for you to do properly. Don't just back your files up and assume everything's okay. Test that backup. Make sure the files are there, that they are readable, writable, whatever you want to do. But that little project is yours to take ownership of. Once that's done, you need to burn the downloaded ISO image to a USB thumb drive. Got no clue what I'm talking about? Check out YouTube. There's a gazillion videos on YouTube that simply show you how to burn any Linux ISO image to a USB thumb drive. Once that's successfully done, you then insert said USB thumb drive into your computer, boot from that thumb drive. Again, if you don't know how to do that, there's a gazillion videos on YouTube that demonstrate quite easily and simply how to do it. Once that's done, go ahead, install your Linux operating system, run all the updates and install any drivers that you need to install. Well done. You're now about 75% of the way through the process. The next thing that you need to do is download and install Google Chrome. This is the only app you're going to need to do absolutely everything on your PC, from email to internet, AAA gaming, watching YouTube, Twitch, Netflix, 
you name it, this one app is your gateway to turning your crappy old computer into a modern powerhouse. So go ahead and install your Google Chrome. If you've installed Linux Mint, if you've installed Ubuntu or Zorin, you don't know how to install Google Chrome, go YouTube it. Again, there's a gazillion videos on YouTube. I can't emphasize enough how good this is for your old PC. If you have a really old PC, please don't take it to the tip. Do this and it will turn it into a powerhouse. Okay, so once you've got your um, Linux of choice installed, uh, as I say, I've gone for Zorin OS because it has all these facilities right out the box, even on a crappy PC like this. 15 quid off of eBay. <clears throat> and it does all these shenanigans. Absolutely beautiful. It's very minimalistic, but it's also highly functional and highly usable. Once you've installed your Google Chrome, open your Chrome and then just simply add your bookmarks and you'll find that you can literally access everything. You want to watch Netflix? Netflix works beautiful under Google Chrome. Absolutely gorgeous. Want to go... Oh. Want to go onto eBay? Go onto eBay. Want to go onto Facebook? Go onto Facebook. Want to go onto Twitch? Do you Twitch? You can see the speed at with which it's currently running. Uh, bearing in mind, no, I am actually recording a video, which is taxing this little PC. So not only am I showing you all this, we're also recording a video. Obviously, when I'm not recording a video, it's lightning fast. Absolutely lightning fast. I do assure you. It's fantastic. Hi, everybody. Bro, let me just pause that because we don't want to hear me talking. Just saying. And then for your AAA gaming, well, I recommend 100% GeForce Now, which you can use completely free. It won't cost you a penny. As you can see, I am free. All the latest games, well, most of them, not all of them. Most of them are here. You want to play Fortnite. You want to play Apex Legends. You want to play Destiny 2. It's all on here for you. All you've got to do is click and enjoy. Eh, if you're free like me, you'll have to wait in a queue. Battlefield 5's on here, providing you link your Steam and or Epic Game account and you already own the game, you're good to go. Of course, there are also free games available on here. Uh, free to play, so we can do Overwatch 2, Halo Infinite, uh, Blade Point, World of Tanks. I think you'll find most of the big ones are on here. Lost Ark, The Finals, Dota 2, Farlight... You know, League of Legends, they're all on here. The Mighty Warframe, they're all on here is free to play, including War Thunder, Albion Online, Destiny 2. You don't need to download and install a thing. As long as you've linked either your Steam and or Epic Games account, you'll be able to play these free to play games straight away. No problem at all. And they will run beautifully on your old banger of a PC. Because you're only using your PC as a window into the gaming rig that these games are running on. So you've not had to buy a graphics card. You've not had to buy the operating system. Probably the majority of you won't have had to buy the PC. All you've had to do is spend one to two hours of effort to convert your PC from a bumbling, useless Windows box into a super fast family PC that everybody can use. Using Google Chrome, the benefit is, is that you've got one app to teach everybody. So everything is contained within that one app. I personally have gone even further by adding all my sports channels on all my movies. Now, if you want to go down this route, I'm not going to tell you what sites I'm using, but needless to say, you will need to install uBlock Origin and you will need to install a VPN. Both of which are completely free and readily available in the Google Chrome web store. All you've got to do is open your Google Chrome, click on the Chrome web store. 
Uh, I would suggest you block origin as your ad blocker. There you go. And it's completely free. And then if you want a VPN, well, I use Touch. Touch VPN, you can use whatever the hell you like. That's the one that I use, Touch VPN, and I find it works beautifully. And again, <clears throat> with only having a single app to handle everything, your email, your internet, your gaming, your shopping, your social networking, everything is done within the Google Chrome window. So if you want to make accounts for your wife or girlfriend or boyfriend or brother or sister or other family members, then you can make an account and they will have their own version of Google Chrome with their own settings in. Very cool. Very easy to do. Not difficult. And in 2024, it will turn your old banger of a PC, as you can see here, into a family powerhouse for free. 100% no cost. You've not had to buy anything. You've not had to spend any money. 100% free. AAA gaming, internet, email, shopping, um, social networking, the whole works. Your media centre, your Netflix, your Twitch, your YouTube, your dodgy boxing and your sports channels. All there, 100% free. If this is not a cost of living crisis buster, I don't know what is. And what have you had to do? All you've had to do is download the Linux of your choice. Install it onto your computer once you've backed all your files up and confirmed that they are backed up. And you are good to go. If any of you have got any questions, please post underneath the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.